Hi everyone, welcome to this class where we are going to look at mirror formula sums. So this is a very very important topic in this chapter where uh, last time we had done, uh, we had uh, looked at how to predict the image, draw the uh, image using uh, the ray diagrams, using the ray uh, the rules uh, for the different rays like rule 1, rule 2, rule 3 for the spherical mirrors. But today's class is going to be very different because we are going to use the formula approach which is the mirror formula. Uh, and we'll be looking at these, uh, doing a quick recap of these formulas and see how to apply them. And I'm going to make it super easy for you. But this is a very important topic because always sums come based on these mirror formulas. So make sure uh, you guys keep your pen and paper ready and let's practice this together. And also please watch our previous videos on this uh, uh, chapter, including the mirror formula and sign convention. Very, very important. And uh, let's go ahead and get this class started. Now before we begin, I just want to say do check out the other courses on our website. We have Physics, Chemistry, Biology and Maths for CBSE class 8, 9 and 10. So guys, if you haven't taken the other subjects, what are you waiting for? Do take them and do share it with your friends. For ICSE students, we have Physics, Chemistry, Biology and Maths for classes 8, 9 and 10. Once again, please do share out our courses with your friends. And if you want to learn coding, we have Python programming, we have Java coding, both are awesome courses to uh, awesome languages to learn computer programming. And then we have physics and chemistry for the Cambridge IGCSE, which is the international board. So do share out our courses with your friends. Make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Uh, we have hit 8 lakh subscribers. So we are really happy for that. So thanks a lot for your love and support. And uh, do share it with your friends. And you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. So guys, stay connected. Keep learning. So please watch the video for the details, but I'm going to do a recap on the spherical mirror formulas. What do we mean by spherical mirrors? Spherical mirrors means curved mirrors. There are two types of spherical mirrors, concave and convex mirrors. And these formulas can be used to predict if you place an object, you know, at a certain distance with a, um, in front of a spherical mirror, concave or convex with a certain focal length, using these formulas, we can predict where the image will be formed without drawing the rays diagram it's important to draw a rough diagram to visualize which i'll show you but you don't have to draw all the rays you can just predict it uh, using this formula or what will be the magnification we can find that out okay so what do these formulas mean the first formula r equal to 2f what does this capital r stand for capital r is the radius of curvature Right? Radius of curvature means uh, spherical mirror is a curved mirror. So what is that radius of curvature? Uh, that means the distance from the center of curvature to the pole. That is basically twice the focal length. Because we know that focus is halfway. Right? It is exactly at the midpoint of the pole and the center of curvature. So if you look at the principal axis, For let's say a concave mirror, then you have the pole, the focus and the center of curvature. Radius of curvature means P to C, this distance. And this is the focal length, distance from pole to focus. And what is the relation? R equals twice the focal length because you can see that focus is exactly in the midpoint like I told you if this is 3 centimeters this should be 3 centimeters so total radius of curvature is 6 centimeters and focus is exactly in the middle next formula so that is the simple relation r equal to 2f or focal length is half the radius of curvature now what is the next formula this is very important 1 by f equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u so it's very important to understand what are these terms. U and V is not initial velocity, final velocity. What do they mean here? So in this chapter, they mean different things, right? In uh, Newton's laws of motion or equations of motion, this is our initial and final velocity. So what do we have here? Here F stands for, F is the focal length. What does U stand for? U is the object distance.
and v is the image distance now all these distances where are they measured from one very important thing they are always measured from the pole which is the center of the mirror so focal length just like distance from pole to focus object distance distance from pole to the object image distance pole to the image so please keep that in mind okay and how are these guys connected so these reciprocals it's not f equal to v plus u reciprocal of f focal length so 1 by f equals 1 by v plus 1 by u okay very important and uh, this is how you use the formula derivation of this formula is not required we just need to know the formula and how to apply it so for example if focal length and object distance are known we can find the image distance so given two things just like we solve a maths equation you can find the uh, third guy if you know two things you can solve this equation and find it simple and then the next formula so this formula is known as the mirror formula this famous one which connects focal length object distance and image distance this is called our mirror formula so let's write this down this is the mirror formula When you guys do the lenses chapter, it will be called lens formula and you guys know what it will look very similar but there is one important difference. This will become 1 by V minus 1 by U. So please be very careful of the sign. Mirror formula is 1 by F equal to 1 by V plus 1 by U. Lens formula is 1 by F equal to 1 by V minus 1 by U. So please don't mix the two. Always check are you doing a mirror question or a lens question. It is a very common mistake. Next formula is called do you guys know what does this M stand for? What is M? M stands for magnification here. And H dash and H. So basically what is this formula saying? M is the magnification. So magnification is the ratio of the image height to the object height. Okay. So it is image height divided by object height so that sort of makes sense right if the image is two times the object it will be two by one two right magnification will become two so always image height divided by object height this is the ratio and let's say if image is measured in uh, the heights are measured in centimeter obviously you can see the unit will cancel so this is the magnification formula h dash by h now one very interesting thing magnification is connected to the image and object distance how magnification image height by object height so this is our m image height is labeled as h dash in some of the books it might be written as h i for image and h o for object height or h dash and h so whichever convention you are using and that is equal to image distance by object distance but with a negative sign so again please don't forget this sign otherwise your answer will be wrong okay so this is the other important formula and this is that's why it is called as magnification formula because it is connecting the magnification the image height by object height this is the basic formula but it is also connecting it to image distance by object distance so this is our magnification formula very important please write and learn these formulas the best way to learn the formulas write it down and keep using it in the questions and whenever you're doing the sums please write down the formula then substitute don't directly substitute okay ht stands for height image height by object height now one very important thing when we are using these formulas we have to follow a sign convention this is super important because if you write the wrong sign gone right you did everything right but one sign mistake the whole answer will be wrong so let's carefully understand what is sign convention i've explained it in my video also in detail please watch that previous video here we'll do a quick recap so we are using the example of concave mirror here you can see this is the back part of the mirror and these are these three important points pole is the center of the mirror this is the center of that curved circle which is called center of curvature c and then you have the focus here which is exactly in the middle of pole and center of curvature okay now what does the sign convention say one thing about very important is when you are measuring image and object distance they are measured from the pole okay 
so according to sign convention distances that you measure to this left side they are negative and to the right they are positive so how can we easily remember that it's as if you are placing the coordinate axis at the pole you have done coordinate geometry you know there is the x horizontal axis and y the vertical axis so please place those coordinate axis here where the origin is at the pole ok so I want all of you to draw the coordinate axis like this this is my y axis and this is our x axis so this positive y axis we label as y negative y axis y dash positive x axis x negative x axis x dash this is our pole focus and center of curvature so can you guys see pole is like the origin where the x and y axis meet so what does sign convention say any distances you are measuring to the right that means along the positive x axis these distances are considered positive anything measured here is negative and remember all measurements are taken from the pole so you measure just like this uh, just like coordinate geometry you measure from the origin same way over here ok and when you are measuring heights so object height image height then you will be measuring uh, along the y axis that makes sense so anything measured upwards so if the object is upright usually the object will be upright so all these heights will be positive but anything which is inverted like you know we can get an inverted image they will be negative so once again they are measured again from the principal axis you are measuring anything above positive anything below negative this sign convention is super important so the easiest way I remember sign convention is I draw this rough diagram or concave mirror convex mirror whatever sum you are doing make sure you draw those coordinate axis because when you draw the coordinate axis automatically your coordinate geometry brain starts working you start thinking positive negative ok otherwise the whole thing will go wrong so be very careful of that yes and this is looking like the Cartesian plane with the four quadrants very good Shiva very good Jitesh exactly the same sign convention works for convex mirrors also so here once again you will draw your coordinate axis at the pole so remember again we have pole focus and center of curvature and remember I told you so remember I told you guys that this uh, this PFC is there is a mistake in that previous video we will have it corrected ok hopefully by next week that editing needs to be fixed but make sure the these are behind the mirror in convex mirror right so important difference here you can see in a concave mirror the PFC are in front of the mirror why because this is the center of the circle obviously it should be here so PFC should be in front of the mirror here this circle completes like this so this will be the center of the circle so PFC will be behind the mirror so this is very important for you guys to remember now please draw the coordinate axis so coordinate axis will be like this this is my x axis so x and x dash y and y dash so remember the pole is the origin your focus is exactly halfway between pole and center of curvature so once again if we measure distances this way from the pole this way will they be positive or negative according to sign convention this is called sign convention so as you can see these distances are measured along the positive x axis so definitely they will be positive now if you are measuring some distances this way this is along the negative x axis negative for sure if you are measuring heights above the principal axis definitely positive because positive y axis if you are measuring below the principal axis right you are going down here definitely they will be negative so this is important always draw this axis you will never forget the sign convention so for example you know if an object is kept here 
at let's say a distance of 5 centimeters what will be the measurement will we write plus 5 or minus 5 if an object is kept over here very good minus 5 because you can see it's on the negative x axis right if your image is formed here let's say image is formed somewhere here let's say it's at 4 centimeter so plus 4 because it's along the positive x axis clear so we have to follow the sign convention the distance right similarly if it's an upright object positive height if the image is upright positive if it forms an inverted image negative height so let's practice this sign convention in the mirror formulas using sums because in cl today's class we are going to focus on sums and I'm going to show you some very easy important tricks if you use that you'll get it right okay so please try to follow these tricks and I'm sure you'll not make a mistake so let's start with the first question an object of height 5 centimeters forms a real image of height 2 centimeters in a spherical mirror find the magnification so can you guys do this for me an object of height 5 cm forms a real image of height 2 cm in a spherical mirror. Find the magnification. So always whenever you are doing sums, first thing is read the sum carefully, note down all the data and use the kind of symbols, the standard symbols that you know like U, V, F or H, H dash, right? Because that will relate you to the formulas. That way you can easily remember the formulas if you write it in terms of standard symbols. So let's read here object of height 5 cm so that means object height is given so object height we denote usually with h forms a real image of height 2 cm so you can see it's forming a real image of height 2 cm that means h dash is image height is 2 cm in a spherical mirror so they haven't told us whether it's a concave or a convex mirror so it could be either but which one do you think it will be real image who gives concave or convex mirror can you guys tell me who gives a real image a concave or a convex mirror very good correct answer is only concave mirror can give real image convex mirror only gives virtual image which means only the image can form behind the mirror for convex concave mirror can give real image very good so that that's another thing that you guys know and now the question is find the magnification so we need to find what is the magnification here so if you guys remember what is the formula for magnification see we are going to use that simple magnification formula m is h dash by h so that's it we'll just go ahead and use it so let's go ahead and substitute the values here magnification is h dash by h 5 centimeter by sorry 2 centimeter by 5 centimeter so 2 by 5 which is magnification is 0 0.4 so is this the correct answer many of you are thinking no so this is what I told you sign convention is very important do not just write down the data you need to write the data with the correct sign so what is the mistake we have done here so let's read it carefully object of height 5 cm now they haven't told us whether the object is upright or inverted but usually object is upright otherwise they would have said inverted object right so if the object is upright that means it's along the positive y axis so this sign is correct positive in fact to remember it you can even write plus 5 so you that means you have thought of the sign so you can write h is plus 5 why because it is upright you don't have to write the reason this i'm just telling you to explain you what about the image image you can see it clearly says it forms a real image now real images are they upright or are they inverted this is very important rule real images are always inverted real images are always upside down inverted virtual images are always erect or upright 
okay so that means real image means it must be inverted so if the image is inverted it's along the negative y axis yes so it has to be you have to write it with the correct sign so all this data has to be with the right sign it should be minus 2 centimeters because it is a real and inverted image they won't tell you in the question please write minus 2 you have to work out the correct sign it's like you know somebody made a loss of rupees 100 so you write profit is minus 100 if you are writing profit same thing over here so now when you find the magnification all your everything was correct here except this sign right so this is plus uh, this is minus 2 centimeters so see this will be negative here minus and so magnification will turn out to be negative very very important so your final sign is very important minus 0 0.4 is the correct answer usually we write it as decimal in physics rather than fraction so what is the meaning of this negative magnification ne always whenever you looking at the magnification number divide the means consider the sign separately and then the number the negative tells you that it is an inverted image so this minus part tells you because there is a minus means image is inverted And since the number is 0 0.4, lesser than 1, that means what type of image it is? Because magnification is image height by object height. Now, since the number is less than 1, this means it is a diminished image. Size of the image is smaller than the object. That's why the ratio is 2 by 5, not 5 by 2. Clear? So that's how you understand that's the meaning of that final number minus 0 0.5 minus means inverted image 0 0.4 means diminished image next question the magnification produced by a mirror is minus 1.5 what does it signify about the image formed which type of mirror can produce this image so like we were discussing look at that magnification number break it down and try to solve this so what have they told us Magnification is given as minus 1.5. So M is minus 1.5. So split it up, sign and number. Negative means what? It is an inverted image. one5 or 3 by 2 what does this tell you about the uh, size of the image is it magnified inverted or same size what do you guys uh, sorry magnified diminished or same size what do you guys think clearly it's bigger than one the ratio is bigger than one that means image is bigger than the object because it is a ratio right image by object so if that ratio number is bigger than one clearly it is magnified So we can clearly say it's a magnified image because it is inverted what type will it be real or virtual inverted means the right answer is it will be a real image so what does it signify about the image we can say therefore image image is real inverted and magnified and you have to give your reasons right because the negative sign the number is greater than one which type of mirror can produce this image so again because we are doing spherical mirrors sometimes they may ask plane mirror you know concave mirror convex mirror so which type of mirror will form this magnification so very good once again we get the clue because negative uh, magnification means it's a real image inverted image convex mirror never forms an inverted image it never forms a real image so definitely this has to be concave mirror and concave mirror produces magnified image convex mirror it's always diminished so both things are telling us definitely it's a concave mirror so answer is concave mirror and please think carefully sometimes you know you're thinking concave but writing convex or thinking the opposite clearly it will be a concave mirror here
Next question. An object 3 cm high is placed at a distance of 10 cm in front of a concave mirror of focal length 20 cm. Find the position, nature and size of the image form. So now the real sums are coming because those sums were very simple. You know, they were just magnification based, formula based, right? Now it's really coming that, you know, object distance, image distance, you know, finding those kind of things. So that means we have to use maybe mirror formula or maybe magnification formula as well. So now let's see how to solve this. And what is the simple trick here? Rather than, you know, just directly applying formula and doing something, first important trick is the dad trick. What is that trick? Draw a diagram or rather draw a rough diagram because you have not been asked to draw a perfect ray diagram, you know, with all the rays and all of that, that was done in a separate class. So first thing, draw a rough diagram because that will help you visualize the problem and that will help you check the signs because remember all these numbers u v f we have to write with correct signs just like we did with magnification one sign mistake gone so you don't want to do that okay so first step all of you please promise me let's draw a rough diagram don't jump into the well don't jump into the sum okay so what is the thing given here let's look at the data it says okay there's a concave mirror some uh, things are given so let's draw a rough diagram again it's rough so let's go ahead and do a rough diagram here uh, that we have been told there's a concave mirror and uh, object 3 centimeters high is plated at a distance 10 centimeters in front of a concave mirror focal length 20 centimeters okay so here we can mark the pole focus center of curvature so it says the concave mirror focal length 20 centimeters so let's mark that focal length means distance from pole to focus so this is given to us 20 centimeters object is placed at a distance of 10 centimeters that means between pole and focus so somewhere here object height 3 centimeters see again rough diagram okay now one very important thing when you draw the rough diagram please draw that coordinate axis that sign convention axis i told you otherwise you'll forget to take the signs so please do that right now so we are going to draw our x axis here and the y axis Okay, so this will remind us to take all the distances uh, and heights with the correct sign. So you have, has everybody done this? Please draw the rough diagram. And with With these coordinate axis or sign convention axis. Now let's write down the data because here we don't have to write the plus minus. This is just for our visualization. Now we can think of the plus minus based on these coordinate axis. So let's quickly write down the data here. So what is given to us? Object three centimeters high. So everything you're reading, you noted down in your data. So object height. That means this is object height. We'll denote it with capital uh, with uh, H. It says 3 centimeters. Should I take it positive or negative? Based on our rough diagram, what should I take? Positive height or negative height? What do you guys think? Very good. Clearly, you can see the object is along the, if we call this object AB, it is clearly along the positive y axis. So, definitely object height and put this plus. I know it sounds silly to put plus, but it will remind you, hey, I thought of the sign. Okay, I didn't miss the sign. Plus 3 centimeters. So, these are the tricks, you know that don't miss out on any sign otherwise you'll miss out on the marks or your sum will go wrong so plus three centimeters object height next thing given so this part is done it is placed at a distance of 10 centimeters in front of the concave mirror so when we look back here 10 centimeters in front of the concave mirror that means this is object distance we are talking about the object 
distances are measured from the pole so object distance means u that is the symbol of object distance 10 centimeters what sign should i put here again keep thinking positive or negative positive or negative so according to this this is clearly along the negative x axis simple coordinate geometry this is your origin it, the pole is like the origin i am measuring from here so it is along my negative x axis definitely minus 10 okay done see so we have done that next let's look at focal length 20 centimeters focal length means small f 20 centimeters again positive or negative you don't have to memorize this if you have this drawn in front of you you will easily get the sign so again the pole is like the origin focal length means distance from pole to focus so is it along positive or negative axis because remember you're not going from focus to pole you're going from pole to focus always you're measuring from the pole always you're measuring from the pole pole to focus very good negative x-axis minus 20 centimeters so is everybody comfortable with this data so we have noted what all we want and then it says what find the position nature and size of the image form so what do we need to find here position means we need to find the image distance so that is unknown size which means we need to find the image height again unknown so you can put a question mark so for the ones that are for the things that are unknown do i need to worry about the sign do i need to write plus or minus here no it's just like mathematics unknown is x we don't think plus x or minus x right we just write okay unknown so here you don't have to worry the sign but the things which you're writing the data that is given you have to write positive or negative so let's go ahead and work that out and based on you know these properties we can guess the nature of the image is this crystal clear to everyone are you all, guys all clear about this so please note this down please draw the rough diagram i don't want anyone being lazy or taking shortcuts please practice it this way in my classes and when you're doing it trust me you guys will get your questions correct everybody everybody don't be lazy please pick up your pen and paper now you have got this now you know that okay so everybody please write down the data like this you'll get the sums right trust me on this now let's go ahead and write down the mirror formula or whatever magnification formula so most probably we need mirror formula here by f and u are known v is unknown okay so let's write down our mirror formula plug in these numbers and solve the question so there you can see we are going to write the mirror formula for this guy so we have already drawn the rough diagram here the rough diagram is already done for us so mirror formula is 1 by f equals 1 by v plus 1 by u okay and so focal length we saw was on the negative x axis so focal length was minus 20 the image distance we need to find so that's our unknown and object distance remember we took it as minus 10 so that's it you just have to solve this equation which means you have to solve for v so please go ahead and do that so we can bring the 10 over here so 1 by 10 minus 1 by 20 is 1 by v so please take the lcm over here 20 is the lcm 2 tens are 20 my 2 minus 1 so this is 1 by v so therefore what do we get here one by 20 is one by v so what is the image distance twenty centimeters all of you got this twenty centimeters now is it positive or negative positive which means image is formed if we go by the sign convention image is formed along the positive x-axis and did we expect that in this concave mirror did you guys expect the Im image to be formed in the positive x-axis which means behind the mirror yes or no tell me because clearly you can see what case is this where the object see without solving the object is between pole and focus that means this is shaving mirror case or makeup mirror 
so we will get a magnified and uh, image and which will be behind the mirror so it looks absolutely right that the because the object was placed between pole and focus image will be formed behind the mirror this answer at least is making sense right so we have formed the we have found the image position so this one is done for us now we need to find the size of the image how do you find the size using magnification formula magnification is h dash by h so magnification h dash by h is minus v by u remember so let's go ahead and find the image height so image height is unknown h dash object height h is 3 centimeter minus v by u so v is 20 and u is minus 10 again with the correct sign see minus 10 so when you substitute that what are you getting the minus minus cancels so this will cancel out here and so we are going to get h dash is going to be 6 centimeters not minus 6 minus minus will cancel because the magnification formula has a minus v by u see that's why each and every sign is very important so this is our image height therefore what is the conclusion about the image so we can say images because it is a positive image height means image is upright that means it must be virtual so image is virtual and upright or you can write virtual and erect right upright means it is straight so image is virtual and upright why because positive height otherwise you would have got negative height right so this is clear then what we can say image is formed 20 centimeters behind the mirror that is the placement of the image image is form 20 centimeters behind the mirror and what else here so these things we have got and the last thing size of the image it is magnified in fact double the size right object was three images six so images image height is six centimeters which means it is magnified So of course you guys can write it in different way also you can say image is virtual erect magnified then give the details whatever format you're following in school but you must give all the details about the image that you have found or you have been asked to find clear so this is how we solve these questions let's try another one this time a convex mirror question convex mirror is focal length of 10 centimeters where should the object be placed to get an image that is half the size of the object so again what is the first step sketch a rough diagram like this so always remember what is the first step you guys promised me you will draw a rough diagram so first thing draw rough diagram with sign convention axis this is super important guys if you don't do this your question can go wrong very important that's why check carefully are you doing concave mirror convex mirror because things can go haywire if you do the wrong mirror second thing write the data with the correct sign and then use the formulas and solve If you guys follow these three simple steps, I'm sure you can crack any of these mirror formula questions. And same things will apply when you come to lens formulas for concave and convex lenses. Same tricks. Okay. So let's go ahead and quickly do this one. Uh, so first thing is you should draw a rough diagram. 
So I've just uh, sketched something here out like this. So you have your pole, focus and center of curvature. Uh, we can see that uh, convex mirror has a focal length of 10 centimeters. So let's mark that here. Pole to focus is 10 centimeters. Where should the object be placed to get an image that is half the size of the object? So now we don't know where it should be placed. So let's randomly place it because after all, this is a rough diagram. We can just place it anywhere. So let's say object is placed here and it says it is half the size. So that means for example, if this is two centimeter object, this will be one centimeter just as an example. But nothing, no real numbers are given. That is just to understand the scenario. Okay. Uh, so this is what we have here clear. Again, what is the important thing? When you draw this rough diagram, please make sure you guys draw the coordinate axis, that sign convention axis. So let's draw that here. This is going to be my x axis. And they are all drawn at the pole. Okie dokie. So we have got our coordinate axis here, right? Make sure you mark that pole, which is the or like the origin, the focus, center of curvature. Now quickly write down your data in terms of this rough diagram. So if you guys see here, what is our focal length? 10 centimeters. Plus or minus, what sign should I put here guys? Focal length, can you guys tell me? Positive or negative? Clearly you can see focal, focal length is this thing from pole to focus along the positive x axis. So plus 10 centimeters, definitely. Where should the object be placed? So as you are reading the question, see what are they asking? Object distance so that the image is half the size of the object. So in convex mirror, at least we know image will be inverted. If the, oh, sorry, <laughs> image will be upright as I have drawn, right? Convex mirror always gives upright image. So if we, uh, image is upright, what will be the magnification sign? Positive or negative? Object is always usually upright, right? So upright, upright, clearly magnification should be positive. Negative magnification means inverted, doesn't mean small, inverted image. So clearly magnification will be positive here but the image is half the size of the object. So can you guys tell me what will be the magnification? If image is half of the object, what is the ratio going to be? Half, 0.5, right? So we can simply say magnification is going to be half again with that plus sign. That means I've taken the sign, clear? So that's all the stuff and we have to find you. Now there's no direct formula that connects uh, focal length U and M. So what do we do? But we know that magnification, there is some formula, right? Magnification formula is H dash by H, which is minus V by U. Be careful, there's a negative sign is there. Mirror formula, it's all positive. Here, there's negative. So if you have H dash by H is minus V by U, but we know that magnification ratio is half. So I can see that I'm making some connection between V and U. Yes. So therefore, I can say that half equals minus V by U. Or we can say that U is minus 2 times V. Does this make sense? U equals minus 2 times of V. Now we can use mirror formula because uh, maybe we can connect F U and we have one equation here that U is minus 2 times V. Maybe we can use that. So let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm going to write the mirror formula first. 1 by F is 1 by V plus 1 by U. Focal length we saw was plus 10. So 1 by 10 is 1 by V plus 1 by U. But what is the connection here? U is minus 2 times V. So maybe we can substitute U. We can replace it with minus 2V. Or you could replace the V with, you know, U by 2 
based on that right so i'm just going to substitute so so we have u is minus 2v so let's put that so based on this you calculate v and then you can calculate v u or you could have done directly you know you could have uh, changed the v into a u whichever way you want to go so here how will you guys do please do this carefully this is 1 by 10 is nothing but 1 by v minus 1 by 2 v so maybe you can take the 1 by v common so smart way of solving this is 1 by 10 is 1 by v and this becomes a 1 minus a half yes so 1 minus half is nothing but half so 1 by 10 is nothing but 1 by v times half so v is nothing but 5 centimeters clear so i just took the 1 by v in common i was left with 1 minus half which is half so v is 5 centimeters because 2 v is 10 but i want my u because it's asking where should the object be placed it's not saying where will the image be formed but what is the connection u and v are connected so using 1 u equal to minus 2 v so now we can say using 1 u equal to minus 2 v there you go minus 10 centimeters and we are done so what is the meaning of minus 10 how will you write the answer you better not to just leave it like that better to write in sentence form therefore the object should be placed 10 centimeters why is it negative because it's on the negative x-axis so object should be placed 10 centimeters in front of the mirror that's how you write your answer so we can write therefore object should be placed 10 centimeters in front of your mirror that's it done so see when you draw a rough diagram you just do the steps write down your formulas you can easily solve these questions I think one last question let's try it out a concave mirror produces a three times upright and enlarged image of an object placed at uh, 10 centimeters in front of it calculate the radius of curvature of the mirror so once again draw a rough diagram write down your data and try to solve this question so see rough diagram will involve a concave mirror so we will mark the pole focus center of curvature of the mirror what does it say concave mirror produces a three times upright and enlarged image of an object placed at 10 centimeters in front of it so when does a concave mirror produce enlarged and upright can you guys tell me so maybe we can use our case knowledge of course you can draw a rough diagram without thinking about that but it helps to think so when does a concave mirror produce an enlarged image which is upright which means it's not inverted it is upright it is upright means it is virtual so this is again that shaving mirror makeup mirror case so we know that definitely object will be between pole and focus of the mirror see there are the clues in the question so we know that our object will be somewhere here because this is a clearly a shaving mirror case right so we are clear about that object 10 centimeters in front of it so let's mark the object distance given is 10 centimeters and it says it produces three times upright and enlarged image so if you look at this since it is three times we know what will be the magnification 
plus 3. Why did I write plus 3? Because 3 times and positive because upright image. Negative means uh, it is an inverted image. So, positive magnification means image is upright. Clear? So, we have written this and now we know that object distance given to us is 10 centimeters. But again sign convention. So, please don't forget to draw this sign convention axis. We have x, x dash, y, y dash. So, clearly object distance positive or negative? Object is in along the negative x axis, it is in front here, right? So, along the negative x axis minus 10. Clear? And what do you need to find? Radius of curvature of the mirror. So, we do not need to find, we need to find the capital R, radius of curvature. Remember, there is a formula connecting radius of curvature and what? Focal length because we know it is twice the focal length. So, basically we need to find F and double it, right? So, actually we need to find focal length and that will lead us to the radius of curvature 2F. That is it. So, how will you guys do this? Come on. So, you can see some magnification is given. That means we can use magnification formula. So, we know magnification M is minus V by U. 3 is yes minus V by U, but U is given to you minus 10. So, please substitute it here. The minus minus gets cancelled. So, what is the image distance? 30 centimeter. Thirty means plus, so it's along the positive x-axis. That is exactly what we expect, because in a shaving mirror case, we expect the image to be formed behind the mirror. We expect this three times magnified to be here. So that definitely makes sense. Thirty centimeters image distance, ten centimeters object distance. All we need to find is focal length. Let's use mirror formula for that. So using mirror formula, one by f is 1 by v plus 1 by u. The image distance we found was 1 by 30 and the object distance is minus 10, right? See, very important to use the correct sign. Minus 10, this one is positive. So, just go ahead and solve this equation. Just solve for f or 1 by f is basically going to be 1 by 30. You can bring this minus up here. So, minus 1 by 10. Please take the LCM. LCM is 30. So, 1 minus 3. So, what are we getting? Focal length we are getting minus 15 centimeters. Does that make sense? Because for a concave mirror, focal length should be negative. It should be along the negative x axis. So, see, you can check is your answer making sense according to sign convention? Absolutely. So, what is going to be the radius of curvature? Very simple. Therefore, we can say r is 2f 2 times minus 15. So, therefore, r is going to be minus 30 centimeters. Once again, you can end your answer with the radius of curvature therefore is 30 because you can give both the numerical answer with the sign and then the written answer. So, therefore, we can say radius of curvature of mirror is 30 centimeters. So, I would say to give both the answers, the numerical answer with the sign and then the written answer as well. So, that is it. The trick was draw a rough diagram, visualize the question, please draw that sign convention axis, positive, negative axis, write down the formulas clearly, 
uh, sorry, write down the data with the correct sign and then just use your formulas and please learn these formulas, write them down and it's super easy. After that, it's just solving it. So once again, draw a rough diagram with sign convention, write down the data with the sign convention. Keep asking yourself, positive or negative? If it's unknown, you just leave it as is. You don't need to think about the sign. And then you saw that we were doing some common sense there. We were checking, okay, does this, should the focal length turn out to be positive or should the, you know, image distance be positive or negative? You should definitely check that while solving. So even without, you know, checking the numerical, just the sign. So sign convention is super important and all these formulas have to be used with sign convention. So hope you guys enjoyed this class and if you follow this technique, I'm sure you'll get all these sums right. So please practice and use this technique, okay? Do not do shortcuts, do not do mental sums or directly jump to formulas, then you are inviting trouble. So hope you guys enjoyed it and please practice more questions. We will. Uh, we have questions on our website, you have questions in the book as well and do check out the other courses uh, on our website. We have Physics, Chemistry, Biology and Maths for CBSE class 8, 9 and 10. For the ICC students also we have these courses, Physics, Chemistry, Biology and Maths classes 8, 9 and 10. And if you want to learn coding, we have Java and Python programming, both are great languages to learn coding. And we have Physics and Chemistry for the Cambridge IGCSE, which is the International Board. So do share out our courses with your friends. Make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. So keep learning and I'm sure you guys will do great.